have I, at the ith house if i have a gg so i am just saying i have two units of glass one unit of plastic and no unit of metals there at the ith house if i'm saying this now picking up one unit of any type takes one one time so if i take g one g it will take one time for sure so picking up one unit will for sure take one time and we are also having a zero next which i call as travel now this travel array is something which is different for us now which just says that travel time to travel from the house i to the house i plus one for sure uh, if you are at the house i you will go to the house i plus one then you go to the house i plus two and so on and so forth will keep on going until you collect that respective metal so for sure you will have to travel from house one to house two that is the travel time which you will be needing cool now we have three types of garbage as we showed metal plastic and uh, that glass each responsible for and uh, yeah we have there are three garbage trucks in the city which is for respective garbage and each responsible for picking up the one type of garbage which means one garbage truck will pick that specific type of garbage each garbage truck starts at the house zero and must visit each house in the order and for sure each garbage truck again we will we are only re reading the concept itself and we will just only apply that itself we have that garbage truck respective garbage truck and that will start from the house zero for sure but it may each garbage truck starts from house zero and must visit each house in the order however they do not need to visit every house which means the garbage truck will start off let's say i have let's say the glass garbage truck starts off at the house zero it will go to the house i plus one like it will keep on going until it has to not go any further let's say i have a glass here glass here but i don't have a glass any further from here itself so the glass garbage truck it, he can stop here itself he don't need to go to every house if i have let's say a plastic garbage truck plastic is here 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 so plastic will garbage truck will keep on going until let's say in mid it was not founding any any garbage of plastic still it has to go until the last occurrence of plastic that is it says that however they do not need to visit every house but it has to visit each house in order which has that specific garbage cool now lastly it just says again the main point of this problem was this specific point which we saw right here that it takes one minute other point was that it has to travel every of the house which has that specific garbage and not necessarily visit every house and again uh, last but not least that only one garbage truck may be used at any any moment which means it is not that you can just make them run parallelly so for sure you have to compute the answers for them differently as in they needs to be processed sequentially again this says that we need to process it sequentially we will only use these points itself to solve the problem we will not use anything else we have to return the minimum minimum number of minutes needed minimum number of minutes needed to pick up the all the garbage right cool now let's see that what we have to do we know that we have three trucks for sure every truck will start from the house zero for sure every truck will actually go to the respective houses to actually pick up the garbage so i i started off with a truck g which means the truck which will pick the garbage as glass so what the truck he will do he has the duty to pick only the glass garbage we know that our garbage looks something like this g p g p and g g so to pick a g i need one unit of time now okay first house is done house number zero is done it will go on to the next house to go from house i to house i plus one i know that i have a cost of two i'll add a cost of two which is to go from the house this house to the next house i add a cost here i it's a p i don't need to pick because i'm a g i'm a g truck right so i don't need to, i don't need to pick a p so i'll just go on in next next house to go on next house again i need a four cost i'll add a four cost again here i have one g one p also but i have one g i'll just pick up one g okay i'll just pick up one g one cost added to me then i'll go on to next house again i'll add a cost of three and then i'll pick up again these two g's these two g's in total my time costed for me or basically the number of minutes costed for me are actually 13 for the truck number g right and for sure the truck number g had to had to go even if it was not having a g here but still it had to go via all the houses because he knew that at the, his last location is this particular g 
which he has to pick. So for sure, he has to go and pass through these houses. Now, like, okay, truck G is done. Next comes his truck P. For the truck P itself, it will just start off with the first. Okay, he, do, he don't need to pick it here because for sure, truck needs to start from the house zero. He'll go to the next house, add a cost. He'll just pick up this P, one. Go to the next house, add a cost, four. He'll just pick up this P, one. Now, I ask you, is it required for him to go any further? Any of the condition says because now we are using and for sure see you saw that we are actually processing it sequentially first we just took the garbage truck with the G and then we processed it which is we are doing it one garbage truck at a time now we are also following the condition that we are adding the cost as we are going via the houses that is other condition which we are following other condition is that every every garbage unit of garbage is taking one into time that is also we are following here. Right, because for 1G we took one time, for 1G we took one time. So these all be followed. Now this is, there are, each garbage truck starts with the house zero. Sorry, yeah. And, and must visit each house in the order. However, they do not need to visit every house. So this garbage truck P, he do not need to visit this house. Because he has to just collect the garbage. He, if he knows that the, there is no garbage which is off for me and for sure any further there is no garbage. So why I will travel there? I will not travel there. So for sure it will not have any cost. Answer is 8. In total if I go for the M as a garbage truck you will see that uh, it will start off with the first house and he knows that no one has a M so it will, he will not even move forward. So that is the minimum cost which you will encounter which is 13 plus 8 plus 0. If I just ask you what the maximum cost, maximum cost is just you just keep and go to the last house. That is the maximum cost which you would have incurred. So that is the answer. Now okay that is very 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 normal for you to implement. There are multiple ways you can implement this very standard way it could have been that uh, you know that you have these houses so every time let's say you start you start off with this G itself truck you just go on to first and you will just keep on going until you get the last occurrence so you will for sure need to maintain the last occurrence of every character which is G P and M you need to maintain the last occurrence of G P and M and you will keep on going until that point at every point I'll just see okay how many number of G's are there I'll add corresponding count for it for I know that I have last occurrence which means I have to go up to that point I'll take the, his time from my travel and I can just keep on adding my cost. That is one way which I can do for G, P and M. But it can be a big code. To actually summarize the code, we can just represent the same stuff in some other form. Just make sure that I'm not changing anything in logic. I'm just representing the same answer in some other form to actually find the code or make the code much more smaller. How? So one thing we got to know that here is a G, here is a G, here is a G, here is a G, right? Which is counted using this one, this one, and this two, right? Here is a P, here is a P, which is, which is counted using this one and this one. So for sure, in my final answer, this every character, J, P, G, P, G, G is counted. So for sure, in my final answer, I will have every characters, which means garbage of I dot size. I will have for every ith, which is, it is the ith garbage, g is the ith garbage, p is the ith garbage, pp is the ith garbage. So I will for sure have its size in my final answer. So okay, this part is done, which is I have already added in my answer. I don't have to compute this. Now comes the remaining part, which is the travel cost. For sure the travel cost, you will see it, it is kind of a prefix sum, 243, 24. It's kind of a prefix sum, prefix sum until what? Until the last index. So what I will do is I will just maintain the last index. Okay, last index as you can see the G can travel last index of G last index of G is actually 0 1 2 3 last index of G is 3 last index of P last index of P is 2. So I just have to get the travel prefix sum and let's say if I have a travel if you will see your travel is 2 4 3 your travel is 2 4 3 the prefix sum of this tra travel will be and in, in indexing are 0 1 2 it is indexing it is a travel now for sure if you just make a prefix sum it will be a 2 6 and 9 now for sure you will see that here if I was taking the last of G as 3 I cannot just go and ask the prefix sum of 3 that will be for sure ahead because it is from house I to house I plus 1 that is one step ahead so please go one step uh, one step back and I will just take 
bro um just give me the index as you can see last index of g is 3 so give me the index of 2 for travel so i'll just take 243 243 i'll get 9 simple uh, let's say here last index of p was 2 simple one index back again by one index back because it is a travel travel is from i to i plus 1 travel is from i to i plus 1 that says this says from 0 to 1 this says from 1 to 2 this says from 3 to 4 1 to 2 2 to 3 so that is the reason we have to take a travel mine like this last index minus 1 to actually put in the travel time so i'll just say okay for me the travel time like the last index for travel was 3 so for sure in this i'll just pick in an index of 2 as my prefix index here same i'll go uh, i'll just say okay my prefix it just says 2 just grab the prefix of 1 which is this value 6 and simply add this in my answer which is the prefix of last index of that specific character c and this is the final answer for us so it will be a very short and concise code let's quickly code this up as you have must have understood this it will be pretty easy uh, so firstly as we saw that we need to uh, have an unordered map uh, for every character and these are just three characters so nobody's on that part uh, for every character i just need the last location for it now i also need to have my final answer which is the int answer now as we initially saw that i need to go on to my all the garbage firstly uh, as i go on to all the garbage I'll just do a garbage dot size and I'll do a plus plus. Now I want all the garbages, but for every corresponding garbage, I know that I will count its size and that will be an answer for sure because if it's a G, P, P, G, or P, P, so G, P, the count of that is for sure in my answer. So that I will initially get that counted. So garbage of I dot size. That is for sure in my answer. But now I also need to get the last occurrence of every character so what i'll do i'll just do a auto c in garbage of i and just simply update the last character's location with the corresponding index so that i can just in my travel time i can just find that out what is the like to, 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 to find the what is the last travel location it has to go to as i saw also that we need a prefix sum although it's not good to modify the input array but still in this case we'll just modify the input array itself so what we will do is we'll just go on to all just 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 getting the prefix sum of our travel array so i'll do a travel dot size and i do i plus plus so with this fact um what i'm doing is i'm just finding the travels prefix sum so nothing but like, like very casual thing that i uh, plus equal to travel of i and again you can just solve it in many ways uh, they are a bit long ways also to solve it so no is on that part right now i have got the travel prefix sum now i just need to go to all of my garbage trucks which is uh, just three garbage trucks uh, for us m p and g now glass plastic and metal now for all the corresponding garbage grub if uh, my last if it is not equal to zero because now why it is not equal to zero because for sure i'll just go and fast ask my travel for the last occurrence of c and do a minus one so if it would have been a zero so that would have give me give, like the third would have given me a runtime error so that's the reason i just initially have a condition to not get a runtime error now ultimately return my answer let's quickly check we have no typo of stuff uh no so yeah that you can actually solve this up cool thank you very much bye bye